in the Bulldog backfield where I'm taking you back to the field. On this week's podcast, we have Ms. Gail Rogers, who is the secretary to the president here at Tennessee Wesleyan University. And I must say, this show is special because Christmas is around the corner. And we all know what people say. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> so, Ms. Gail, thank you so much for being on the show today. Well, thank you for asking me. <laughs> How have you been? I've been wonderful. How about you? That's great. Oh, I've been great. I said that's great. <laughs> but so let's get this show on the road. Miss Gail, when did TW begin the first annual tree lighting? I think it was seven or eight years ago. Um, we wanted to have a ceremony where the students could gather on the quad and, and um, donors and people in the community could come. We wanted to be a focal point at Christmas for the community and for the students. Okay, so what all takes place at the lighting? Um, this year at the lighting, there is going there are going to be s'mores roasted yeah. at the fire pit. There will be hot chocolate stations. I think there's going to be some entertainment on the quad uh, right about the time they light the tree. And then there's going to be a reception for friends, donors, and family of Tennessee Wesleyan in the new campus center, in the Johnson Event Center. Okay. So when you guys are decorating the tree, do you guys tend to switch up the ornaments each year or you keep the same ornaments every year? Um, I don't like things the same every year. Okay. We, we switch them up somewhat. Of course, the one outside, the, we have weather um, that influences their duration. So we end up getting some new ones every year. That does remind me of one story. Um, if you notice, the tree on the quad, we put all the ornaments on with zip ties. A couple of years ago, mm -hmm. we decorated that tree and the tree lighting um, occurred that evening, and during the night, there was a tornado that came through the edge of town and um, went up toward Sweetwater. We got, came in the next day concerned about the tree that we had just completed. We did not lose one ornament. What? No, we did not lose one ornament. That's lovely. So we were very <laughs> excited. I know. So what does Christmas mean to you? Um... To me, it all centers about the birth of the child and the love. There, there's a special love and peace that comes at Christmas time that I think we're intended to have all through the year, but we kind of tend to let that go in the um, everyday hustle and bustle that we have. But I think the lights bring um, bring some serenity. I, there's just, there's just like you said, it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Do you have a moment? that you can remember that was one of your favorite moments of Christmas growing up or like last year? <laughs> I love Christmas. So um, one tr Christmas tradition that we have is um, I go to a church in Inglewood and we have a choir that goes caroling to the shut-in people in our church and our community. We take them fruit baskets and, and they're so excited. Some of them we don't, unfortunately, we need to go more, but they look forward to that. And at one point, we had a man call because we were late, and he wanted to make sure we were coming. So that's one of my favorite things. Um, when my son was born, Christmas took on a whole different meaning because it's just so much fun to um, teach your child the meaning of Christmas. But at the same time, you want to just every morning when they get up and open their presents to be special. I remember one time uh, my son asked for mm -hmm. a G.I. Joe ship, which mm -hmm. was big and took a long time to put together. <laughs> and like three days before Christmas, he completely changed his list. So didn't work so well that year. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I remember a time when I was younger, my dad and I used to put the tree up. And he would give me the big tree box, and I would get my Barbie cash register, and then I would pass him the ornaments, but I would scan them, and I would tell him his total at the end. <laughs> so I've always loved Christmas. To me, it's about family coming together and also remembering Christ and remembering like him being born into this world. And it's just such a beautiful holiday. I love going to the city and feeling holly and jolly and hearing music in the malls. I just love it. So, but thank you so much, Miss Gail, for coming on the show. That reminds me of one more <laughs> Christmas story. Okay. You know, I put so many trees up around here. When I was a child, we put up a real Christmas tree, a cedar tree that my father went out and cut, and we had it almost completed, and it was beautiful, and it fell. It wasn't in the stand good, oh but it was okay. We still had a great time. That's good. 
Well, I hope, I hope everyone has a great time this year on Christmas. Please make sure that you're with your families and you just take everything in and just be grateful because not everyone gets the opportunity. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and thank you for tuning in on Bulldog Backfield where I'm taking you back to the field. See you next Thursday. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>